So is there a different process working on a children's show versus other television shows? Well, yeah, I think the first thing is we're going to think from a musical perspective, we're going to think about instrumentation, right? Uh, and we're going to think about tone. Uh, so a lot more sort of plucked strings and xylophones and things like if it's aimed at, you know, preschool, that's another thing. Animation is such a broad spectrum. Uh, we do a lot of anime type shows and we do stuff that's aimed more at tweens and teens. So for those kind of shows, we can treat it more like feature film or like, uh, you know, stuff that's aimed more at grown-ups. But it really just depends on what the show is, what the messaging of the show is, uh, and that's sort of how we approach it. So, right, so when you read your, when you first read the script, uh, you're, you're studying the script, you determine first age, area, types of music, and then you can take it from there? Yeah, the other thing that we look at, especially on animation, especially on shows like Daniel Tiger, but it happens in all the other shows that we work on, is if there is a song in the script, if the characters are actually going to be singing any lyrics, uh, that is where we will start. Uh, because typically the process for that is we'd have a powwow with the director uh, about what stylistically, what kind of music they want for that, and then we will record based on their script uh, our temp vocals, like so I'll sing horribly, uh, but then that version goes off to the actors and the actors will listen to my vocals and then do their performance. And the cool thing about when that happens, the reason I think it's my favorite thing of all is because it's the rare time where we as composers get to sort of affect how the final animation is gonna come out. Whereas typically we're reactive, we're reacting to the animation that they're sending us and scoring the scenes that are already done. But uh, like we did uh, some numbers for uh, Cat in the Hat uh, with Martin Short singing. Uh, and so I heard the final song with Martin Short before the animation and it was really cool to see it come back and they put, like I had a little can-can number in there <laughs> and sure enough they animated all the different little bits that I had, the little musical uh, Easter eggs I had laid down for them. So that's my favorite when that happens in a script. So, so it sounds like in some ways you get more creative, you get more creative part of the process in this way. Absolutely, yeah. It's nice because as composers, like I said, usually we're an afterthought or we're like after the fact, but it's nice when we get a script and we get to be part of the storytelling. So. And then uh, we, we, for our last question, advice for students, how did you get into the, uh, in the film TV industry part of it? Yeah, so um, basically when I was really young, and I would just give this advice to anybody breaking into the industry at all, whether you're in music or directing or writing or whatever, is uh, watch lots of TV shows, watch lots of movies, study your craft, learn the language of film, learn the language of uh, television, uh, and um, that will sort of teach you. It's like free school, right? And so that's what I did my whole youth. I would just listen to soundtracks and I would listen to the music in like Star Wars. That's the, that was the big one for me. Like without John Williams, I wouldn't be here, right? Um, and then, um, uh, eventually, when I was fairly young, uh, I, d I realized like this is what I want to do. And so I just took the steps that were needed. I already knew I had the musical skills, uh, but I needed the technical skills. So I went to college for audio engineering and recording to get better at the parts where I, w I knew that I was weaker. Uh, and then basically, I'm fortunate in that I have two uh, business partners that we all write the music together. Uh, and so the three of us started a business together 22 years ago, uh, worked our way up. I mean, it started with um, commercials mainly, uh, but then we landed a reality TV show, which led into Total Drama, which led into Paw Patrol and like all these other things. Uh, so I would also just advise people to sort of follow the breadcrumbs of their careers and see, because we did not plan on getting into animation. Uh, but it sort of led us this way. And uh, so, yeah, that's, that's kind of my story.